Hey, good morning, Golf and God, this morning. Wednesday morning, hope everybody's well. I um, just want to talk to you real briefly uh, about hope. Uh, I think that right now in, in the time that we're in, um, hope is something that uh, we need more of. I definitely, myself, I need more of it. Um, so let me read this with you real quick. Um, <laughs> Sorry, sometimes I get distracted. Um, I think that, uh, you know, I, I saw this phrase yesterday. And it said, when we're healthy, we wish for thousands and hundreds of different things. But when we're sick, we only wish for one thing. And I think that says a lot, right? When we're not feeling good, when we're sick, we just want to be better. And when we're better, we forget that we're better and we want all these other things. And uh, this kind of puts things in perspective. So Roman, Romans 5.13. May the God of hope fill you with joy and peace as you trust in him so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. I, I love this passage for multiple reasons. Um, There's, there's lots of keys here. As you trust in him, so that you may overflow with hope. And uh, I spent some time, spent some time looking at what, what really is hope. Where does it come from? And um, look back on Abraham and Sarah, right? And uh, God promised Sarah she was going to have a child at a much older age. But it was her own patient hope that came into an agreement that indeed God was faithful. And I think that was huge, just realizing that um, there's an element of patience in hope, um, that things weren't given right away. Um, they were promised, but there was no timeline. And without her patience, Sarah would have given up hope. A long, long time ago. I like this passage from Romans 8.23. <clears throat> it says, Not only so, but we ourselves, who have the first fruits of the Spirit, grown inwardly as we wait eagerly for our adoption to sonship. For in this hope we were saved, but hope that is seen is not hope at all. Who hopes for what they already have? But if we hope for what we do not have, we wait for it patiently. So there it is. Hope is, hope is waiting for something that you do not have. And uh, I think we all have something in our lives that we're waiting for. Um, <clears throat> there's a book called The Christian Hope. And in that book it says, The Christian hope is hope in God and Jesus Christ. It is the confident, confident affirmation that God is faithful and that he will complete what he has begun. It is also, therefore, that confident expectation which waits patiently and ardently for God's purpose to be fulfilled. Again, patience seems to be one of the number one qualities in having hope. And uh, that's, that's difficult. Um, I come back, I come back and I, I reread this first verse. Romans 5.13. May the God of hope fill you with joy and peace. And it kind of hit me. May the, God, may the God of hope fill you. To be filled, <laughs> you've got to be fillable, right? You have to have a place in your life to be fillable. Um, you know... I'm a busy type of guy. I'm, 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 a, I'm a workaholic. And I don't have a lot of room sometimes for God to fill me with something that he wants. Because I have filled my life so much on my own. And um, so I think that's an important part for me to remember is to be fillable, to have room in your life 
for God to fill those things with hope as we go through there. So listen, um, for all of you who are struggling right now, um, sickness, <clears throat> loss of a loved one, loss of a job, uh, shutdowns, whatever, um, don't give up hope. Know that hope comes from the God of hope, Jesus Christ. And um, be patient. And know that create room in your life, in your heart, and God will fill it with hope. So, uh, anyways, easy, mellow, golf and God this morning. Hope you have a good week. Bye.